What is the purpose of the observable universe? Today, we explore the groundbreaking discoveries of Newton and Einstein, discoveries drawn from the universe itself that forever changed how we understand motion, time, and gravity. These ideas didn't just explain the cosmos, they sparked technologies that transformed our world. But beyond science and invention lies something deeper. Through observing the universe, we uncover timeless lessons about patience, growth, and the pursuit of perfection. And in that pursuit, we begin to define what may be the cosmic meaning. Long before Newton, Copernicus challenged the geocentric model of the universe. In the 1500s, Galileo observed Jupiter's moons in 1610, and Kepler, by 1619, had outlined precise laws of planetary motion. But it was in 1666, during the Great Plague, when a young Isaac Newton, in self-isolation at his family farm, began to connect it all. Legend speaks of an apple falling. But what stirred Newton wasn't the fall itself, it was the question. Could the same force pulling the apple to Earth also be pulling the moon toward us? To answer this, Newton turned not to large-scale experiments, but to mathematical reasoning. He used Galileo's observations of acceleration, Kepler's planetary laws, and his own invention of calculus to formulate a universal law. By the 1680s, he showed how the same invisible force, gravity, governed both the fall of an apple and the orbit of planets. His 1687 masterpiece, Principia Mathematica, revolutionized our modern world. It gave us the tools to define motion itself. Newton's three laws of motion emerged alongside his law of gravitation, describing how objects move, interact, and respond to forces. For the first time in human history, we could not only observe motion, we could calculate it, measure it, and predict it. From cannonballs to comets, from pendulums to planets, everything followed the same principles. It unified the heavens and earth under one law, revolutionizing physics, engineering, and astronomy for centuries to come. But here's the profound thought. Without the universe, the apple, the moon, the stars, there would have been nothing to ask, nothing to observe, nothing to explain. The cosmos had to be there for us to discover it. For over two centuries, Newton's laws reigned supreme. They built bridges, launched ships, and charted the paths of planets with stunning precision. But as our instruments grew sharper and our gaze reached farther, cracks began to show. Mercury's orbit wobbled ever so slightly, light bent near massive objects and time itself seemed to stretch. These anomalies puzzled scientists. Until one man reimagined the universe entirely. In 1905, Albert Einstein introduced his theory of special relativity, redefining space and time not as fixed backdrops, but as interwoven fabric. Then, in 1915, his general theory of relativity replaced Newton's idea of gravity as a force with something deeper. Gravity was the warping of space-time itself, caused by mass and energy. And here came one of the most profound truths of all. Time is not absolute. It runs slower, near massive objects, and faster when we move at high speeds. This isn't just abstract theory, it's the reason satellite communication and GPS systems even work. Satellites orbiting Earth experience time differently than we do on the surface, and unless we account for this time dilation predicted by Einstein, GPS would drift by kilometers each day. Einstein didn't erase Newton. He expanded him. Newton helped us predict the universe. Einstein helped us understand it. And the journey continues. Today, we explore black holes, quantum fields, and the unseen forces of dark matter and dark energy, pushing the boundaries 
of what we know. From the tiniest particles to the edges of the cosmos, every new discovery opens doors to even deeper questions. The universe remains our greatest teacher, and through it, countless inventions and breakthroughs still await. Technologies we haven't imagined, ideas we've yet to grasp. Still, we chase the silent language of the stars, learning, observing, wondering, knowing that the cosmos is far from done revealing its secrets. Beyond the science and equations, the universe teaches us important, universal and practical lessons. Everything in our universe happens at a staggering, almost poetic pace. Stars are born over millions of years, not seconds. Continents drift barely a few centimeters each year to shape the face of the Earth over eons. Even light from the most distant galaxies takes billions of years just to reach our eyes. Nothing in the cosmos happens in haste. Yet everything happens precisely when it should. What is it telling us? That patience isn't just a human virtue. It's a cosmic law. The slow and steady rhythm of the universe teaches us that meaningful outcomes require time, consistency, and quiet persistence. Patience, after all, is the foundation of growth. Countless self-help books and management theories emphasize this, from Stephen Covey's Seven Habits to James Clear's Atomic Habits, but rarely in the context of the cosmos itself. Even modern leadership strategies like the Baby Step approach echo this universal truth. Small, deliberate actions over time lead to massive results. The universe leads by example, quietly reminding us that slow and steady still wins the race. As the saying goes, a rolling stone gathers no moss. But the universe shows us this truth on a scale no book has ever captured. Galaxies drift, stars are born and die, planets evolve. Everything is in motion. Even the cosmic microwave background, a relic of the Big Bang, is slowly fading. Nothing stays still, yet nothing feels rushed. The universe changes not chaotically, but with a quiet, deliberate rhythm. This teaches us a profound truth. Change is the only constant. Modern thought echoes this. From Kaizen in Japanese philosophy, which means continuous improvement, to James Clear's Atomic Habits, which emphasizes slow, steady progress over time. Even agile and lean methodologies in the tech and business world are built on the idea of evolving step by step. It's proof that we are wired for growth, for learning, for betterment. The ideal human being is not the one who reaches perfection, but the one who pursues it, constantly refining their skills, thoughts and behavior. Just like the universe, change is constant. And to sum it all up, the universe teaches us the idea of perfection, not through words, but through its very existence. In its vastness, there is order. In its silence, there is precision. From the spiral arms of galaxies to the fine-tuned laws of physics, the universe is perfect in its symmetry, balance and design. This silent perfection plants a seed within us a yearning to reach higher, to refine ourselves, to create with excellence. And though we may never reach absolute perfection, it's the pursuit towards it that matters. Through patience, steady growth, and the willingness to improve, we are capable of achieving miraculous feats. It's in our nature to build, to learn, to evolve. And perhaps that's the ultimate goal of being human, not to be perfect, but to strive for perfection in everything we do. Our thoughts, our work, our character. So the next time you look up in the sky, think about this, the universe imparts within us. The mindset of inquiry, patience, change and perfection, just through observation as if its existence was meant to kindle knowledge and wisdom within us, 
from the heavens. Through its silence, its precision and its beauty, it shapes the very intellect that dares to ponder its purpose. This is the cosmic meaning. You have been watching the entirety of everything.